Oh, we definitely got some fish. Look at that. That is so cool. <laughs> Look at that fish. Uh, now you can really see the colors here in the shade. There's one and two and three. Dude, these fish are so cool. Oh my God. I can't believe these are like out in the wild. What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. We got something crazy for you guys today. So in my last video, I realized that we had a little pond over on the side of the yard that we've literally never used. And it kind of just sat there ever since we got the house because it's so heavy and we can't move it. So we just like, you know, kept it there and we were like, all right. But I realized it was there yesterday. And I asked you guys if we should put some fish in there and you said, yes, we should definitely put some little tiny guppies and stuff like that in there. So I'm here at the canal uh, right down the street from my road. And we've been here before and we've caught some insanely cool fish. We've caught some little mollies and little platies, like the colorful ones. They're somehow in this canal. We've caught them a lot of times before. I see them all the time. So. Today we have a fish trap. We've actually never used this fish trap before, so I'm excited to see how this works. This is a pretty sick fish trap. This is like a, you know, standard minnow trap. Like they swim in and it's all metal and you kind of like latch them together and then boom. So they swim in and then they are trapped. It is a really good trap, but I haven't used it yet because the holes are like kind of small. So all the really cool stuff that we usually catch, they won't be able to fit through there. So I was like, okay, what should I use this for? And today we got the perfect opportunity. We're gonna try and catch some little tiny fish. So this is gonna be perfect for it. We got some cat food, let me show you. There we go, we got some cat food in there. We're gonna put it in the trap. But yeah, the water is actually so high right now. Like as you could tell, it is insanely high. I don't know if that's like gonna be good or bad for the fish trap today. Now when we get tons of rain, it's so cool because this little like ditch runs straight through my house. And when it gets a lot of rain, it's like three foot deep. And there's actually like bluegills and little fish swimming through. So if you guys want me, next time it rains a lot, I'll literally do a fish trap in front of my house. I'll walk two feet from my door and boom, we're able to catch fish. It's super cool. We'll definitely do that. So we got our, we tied a little string to this so I can like throw it out. There we go. All right, let's, uh, let's dump the cat food in. Oh no. <laughs> Almost screwed that up. There we go. All right, that's enough. Got some chum. There we go, chum them up a little bit. All right, there we go. We have our trap. We got our bait inside the trap. Now we're ready to uh, throw it on out here. Last time I did this, I walked all the way down and I'm never doing that again. So I said in that video, I'm never doing that again because I saw like four snakes. I almost stepped on one. I was covered from head to toe and prickers. It, it was like the worst thing ever. It was definitely not worth it. This time I'm literally doing it right here at the, at the front. There we go. All right, we can see it down there. There it is. Perfect. All right, that's looking good. Some of the cat food got out, but that's all right. We're gonna leave this string just like right here, I guess. Hopefully nothing like grabs it. It's almost as if whoever cuts this grass here watches the videos because last time I did this video, I was like, someone please cut this grass because way too many prickers, way too many snakes. And check it out, it's all cut. So uh, thank you. But uh, yeah, guys, we're gonna wait about an hour, I think, for this trap. I wanna give it some time because I definitely wanna catch some fish today for the pond. In the meantime, we're gonna feed some of my fish. We're gonna feed the Paku and we're gonna feed uh, maybe the bass, Bruiser. So let's go do that. And we'll be back here in about an hour. Hopefully we have some fish for the pond. Here we go. All right, well, now that the uh, fish are fed, I'm fed, we're energized, here we go. It's been a little over an hour. I think it's been close to an hour and 30 minutes. We got our trap down there. I actually see some fish already. It looks like uh, <laughs> it looks like my my little rope line thing right here fell into the water. So I guess I'm gonna have to go in for this. Okay. Oh boy. <laughs> Nasty. Oh, we definitely got some fish. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> okay, hold on. Guys, check it out, where are they? Oh my. <laughs> okay, wait, hold on, how do I even open this? I don't know how to open this. There we go, perfect. Check it out, dude, we got three of them. Look at those Dalmatian mollies, there's one, two, and three. Oh my gosh, that is sick. We're gonna go put you in the bucket. You got two in the bucket. Oh my gosh, this one's huge. Look at that, that is so cool. All right, there we go. Well, I'm a little disappointed. I, I, I gotta say, I'm a little disappointed because I saw some orange ones here while I was placing the trap. I didn't want to tell you guys. I wanted it to be a surprise, but I saw some little orange ones. 
Didn't get the orange ones. I think the orange ones are too small because these holes are pretty big still. You know what guys? I think I might go grab that green trap, the one with the really tiny holes. Might come place it here and see if we can catch those little ones. So I'm not gonna show much of that. I just wanna see if I can catch them. So we're gonna do that. I'll let you guys know if we catch any of the little ones. But yeah, we got three Dalmatian mollies. That is sick. Right, before we do that little green trap, we're gonna put the Dalmatians into their new home. All right, there we go. One last look at them. Look at those. Those are Dalmatian mollies, guys. They're huge. Usually we catch little guys, but these are like the biggest ones we've caught in that canal. You guys go. There's one and two and three. <laughs> oh, they're just so cool. Look at that. Look at them. Where's the other one? Oh, look at them. Oh, they're on top. Oh, what's up, dude? <laughs> oh, that is so cool. I think they really like it. What's up, buddy? Let's go use the green fish trap and see if we can catch some little ones, maybe some of those orange ones, or just maybe some more baby Dalmatian ones. I think the smaller, you know, holes that we use, the more fish we'll catch. So this green net has really tiny holes, so we might catch a lot here. All right, we'll see you in 30 minutes. All right, let's see it. Oh my God, dude, the freaking rope fell down again. <laughs> At least it's not like submerged. Uh, get it. All right. All right, moment of truth. Let's see, green fish trap. Did you work? Oh, I can't see. It's very hard to see in it. Unzip. Oh my God, dude, look. Oh, look at that fish. Where'd he go? Oh my God, there's more, dude. Oh my gosh, okay. Let's get these guys in the bucket. Get some water. Here we go. Let's try not to lose these guys. There you guys go, come on. <laughs> oh, I can't believe it. Are you kidding me? Look at those fish. I don't know what kind of fish those are. I don't think they're mollies. You're probably eating the fish, aren't you, buddy? Look at them. Guys, I'm gonna need some help identifying these fish. Let me see if I can get one. Let me see if I can get a nice shot for you guys. Oh my gosh. I don't know if you can tell how bright that is on camera, but that is just gorgeous. We got three of them. Wait a minute. Hold on. Wait, there's some, oh, there's a mosquito fish in there. Wait, is that a mosquito fish? Oh, look at that little baby. Look, we got a little baby fish. I don't know what kind of fish that is. Maybe it's like a little baby something cool. I don't know. Well, guys, that was an epic success. We caught three Dalmatian mollies, I think. Yeah. And then three of these, whatever they are, they got like yellow on them. They got like a little teal. They got some red, orange. Dude, they are so cool. I'm not a huge, you know, aquarium type fish expert. These are definitely aquarium fish though, since they're so colorful. I'm sure, you know, people let these guys go in here and they repopulated over time. But if you guys know what they are, let me know in the comments. All right. Well done, green fish trap. Let's head back to the house. Oh my God, now you can really see the colors here in the shade. Look how beautiful those fish are. There we go. Oh, there's a Dalmatian. Oh, oh, there he is. Oh, it's so cool. Look at him. There we go. There we go. Go be with your friend. Last one going in. There they go. Dude, these fish are so cool. Oh my God. I can't believe these are like out in the wild. I just went down to the same canal we caught them at and we got some of this like vegetation, little water plants to put in there. Uh, yeah, I think that pretty much completes it. All right, guys. Now, usually when I get new fish, I ask you guys to name the fish like individually. But since there's so many we just caught for this pond, I want you to name it as like a group, some sort of group name. I'll pick a comment and you guys will get a shout out in the next video. But anyways, guys, if you did enjoy, hit the like button, subscribe down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.